Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, I was asked the other day why I hadn't done this video yet, so I decided to go ahead and do it. And yes, I am in my kitchen as I still got the kittens in my studio room. Um, today I'm going to be going through the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. This palette I actually waited and waited and waited for, um, and I was very happy when it finally came out. Um, I literally was like, when it dropped for, um, <laughs> get out of that boy, when it dropped, um, the debut did, I was there. I mean, I got it like that. Um, I'm going to open it up. I have used this palette a few times. And I didn't just want to do a, um, re, you know, just an unboxing. I wanted to do an actual review of the product. This is the first palette Jeffree Star has ever done where his face is on the cover. So this actually may end up being a collector's item at some point, but I have used mine. And the colors are gorgeous. It has a huge, huge mirror. This is a very big mirror on here. But because I have my lighting system in here, uh, I'm not going to blind you. So I will turn that back and take the cover off. I think I've worn this twice. So this is the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. Um, I have used a couple of the colors, and they're pretty. They do have some fallout. But they're very pretty colors. I'm not going to swatch the colors. The reason why is because I'm all about swatches and stuff. And I like watching other people's videos of them swatching it. But these grays, they do not look on the back of your hand or on your arm the way they're going to look. Actually on the lid. It's going to look different. The grays adapt to the color of your pigmentation on your skin so it's not gonna look the same I, trust me I've done it and it, I'm like that don't even look like what it looks like in the palette it's just different I also got three of the glosses these are the three glosses that I got um, I'm waiting for heaven's gate to come back in um, I will be getting that one when it comes back in stock this one is Coroner's Kiss. It's the lightest one. And it's really pretty. This one is a very metallic gray. And it is Funeral Parlor. And it's nice. The, I think my favorite one is this darker one. And it's called Six Feet Under. And it's really pretty. These I will, I will swatch. Because um, glosses... Are not going to be any different like the palette colors. First one I'm going to do, I think this is Funeral Parlor. In there, swatch that. And this is the color. I don't know why I put it there, probably because I can see it and you can't. So let me re-swatch it. Well, being left-handed, I do things to where I can see it. This is Funeral Parlor. And it's very pretty. And it will lighten up if you want it lightened up. They don't, you know, they're very high shine. Very high shine. This one is Coroner's Kiss. This is one of my favorite ones. Kelly, don't mess with my light. My little brat over here trying to play with my light system. That's not going to work. It's a very light gray. But they're very, very, very high shine. I mean, they look... I don't think a camera would do them justice. This one has a metallic look. This one has like a gold undertone to it. And they are like diamond, diamond shiny. And so, so is this one. 
This one is Coroner's Kiss. I think that's my favorite one, is Coroner's Kiss. And um, they're very pretty. And I'll do those too. My babies are running around here playing. So you may see a cat, may hear a cat, a kitten. Let me get that off of me. I was just going to do a eye look real quick. Um, I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup because I haven't been going out too much. But uh, I put a little foundation on. Trying to go sort of light on the makeup because um, the chemo pills have been messing with my skin a little bit. And I've been sort of broken out. So, trying to go light on the foundation and stuff. Um, first thing I'll do is get my brushes and we'll do a makeup look with the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. So, I think I will go in and do a medium dark look, not too dark, because you could go all the way pitch black with this. And I, I did a black look one day, and believe it or not, it didn't look bad on me. It's my hair. I don't know how it would look on somebody with really, really fair skin. I mean, it looks great on him, and he's very fair skin. But trust me, all of us do not have Jeffree Star's um, artist us to do makeup the way he does. Uh, I think I will go in with um, Wednesday. And all these have cute names. We've got, I'll, I'll name them real quick. Hirsch, Angel of Death, Grave Digger, um, Death Certificate, <laughs> Rest in Peace, what is this one? All Bear, and we got um, Inheritance, Wednesday, Mortuary Beautician, Last Look, Solemnly Swear, Morgue, and this one is Molazim, this one is Embellished, you know, Embalmed, I gotta move the, I get my color off there so I can read and this is okay, embalmed, this is embalmed eulogy life insurance last respects goodbye goodbye I gotta get my camera down a little bit um obituary bridal burial game it's hard for me to read upside down y'all um after life Casket Ready, Death Blow, and Diamond Ashes. So that's the palette. So let's create some makeup here. All right. I'm going to get right up at the camera so you guys can see my hose, my eyeballs. Um, I think I will use... I'm going to use this blending, no, I'm not going to use the blending brush right off the bat. This is actually a highlighter brush, but it does really good for the crease. Um, so this is the brush I'm going to be using. This is actually from Billion Dollar Brushes. And then we'll go into Wednesday. This is one of the only palettes I've ever used from him. It actually has fallout. It does have quite a bit of fallout in the pan, and some people don't like that powder, but it will leave extra powder. So, I'm just going to go right in here. And it's, a, it's almost a bluish type of gray. Like I said, it's hard for me to do my makeup in a monitor. And I like to do both eyes at the same time. I don't like to go do finish one eye and finish the other one because if I do, uh, I don't know why, but it always looks like I've done two different makeup looks. My eyes don't look as the same. So there we go with that. I don't know about y'all, but I always 
I should wipe my brushes off as soon as I use them. Um, and the second thing we're going to do, this is another, this is just a standard eyeshadow brush. And this one is from Billion Dollar Brushes also. And um, I think I'm going to go in with a pretty dark just because I'm doing this as a video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this one. And this is Angel of Death. And it is a black, black, black. But it is a metallic black. So we're going to go right in here. And I mean, that is a black, shiny shiny black you don't even need you don't need nothing on your eyes with that i mean you don't need no eyeliner up there on that top lash i mean this is like black black and we're just going to put it on the lid but you can see how shiny this is right i mean uh this is a bold look i wasn't going to do something this but I figured, why not? And see, it does have transfer. It does have transfer. This palette, you will get it on your cheeks, and it bleeds. And this is the only palette I think I've ever had of his that does that. I'm actually getting my phone out, not to make a phone call or text anybody, but I'm actually going to use my camera as sort of a mirror it's really hard for me to judge in the monitor. I can almost see better here. Uh, we're going to go back in. We're going to go over here and I'm going to use some Paul Bear. This is on this side. It's almost a silver. We're going to put it on the it says Angel Death on this side of the brush. Paul Bear will be on the back. And the only thing we're going to do now, this, this color here is sort of chunky. I don't know if you can see that. It is a chunky color. This is smooth on this side. This side is chunky. The textures in this palette are different. You see that? Smooth, chunky. But I'm going to try to just a little bit right here in the corner to see how that silver plays out. Just to give it a little bit of a definition. It's definitely a dark, dark makeup. It looks crazy right now, but it will straighten it out. <laughs> we are going to go in. With another color, I think we're going to go in with um, Obituary. This one here that's like a brownish gray. We're going to go in with that one. And the only thing we're going to do is sweep. It's a lighter. I mean, it's a ash lighter. But we're going to blend it. It won't look so crazy. It won't look so crazy once, once we blend it. So, there is our look so far. I'll get my camera out of the way. Uh, I think what we need to do is go in and take our blending brush. This is from Unique Cosmetics. And it's a really good blending brush. I use it a lot. It's just a standard blending brush. But it's got it. I mean, it's really good. I think it is. And what we're going to do, we're going to blend this out some. So it's not so crazy looking. Because on someone my age, um, you got to be careful with the, with the dark or the very bright colors. It will make you look very old very quick.
So, and I know it's hard for you guys to see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to get this blended out evenly on both sides. Because, like I said, this has some, uh, it actually has some transfer issues, in my opinion. Because it will, it'll get underneath your eyes. The fallout is more. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the colors. <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to be up there, Gigi. Uh, let's see my cat. Sorry. I'm doing something she probably shouldn't be doing. But she knows I'm busy. Um, it does have some transfer. Like, if you're doing your makeup, this will get down in here and the, his other palettes don't do that. I don't know if this formula is different or if it's just to the point where it's the uh, it's just the ash color that's you know you gotta blend out carefully and you're blending them together. I'm going here with this color called called embalmed and real quick I'm going to show you that when I go to pick up the color on the palette you see that fallout it's got quite a bit of fallout and his other palettes didn't do that uh, none of them that I own did that so I don't know what is up with this one but I mean, it's not a deal breaker for me. It doesn't change that I have the palette. I still like it. I like the colors. It's just, it can make the colors harder to work with. But once you get them blended out, they don't look so muddy. They're actually pretty. Um... This brush here is um, from Luxie, the 131, and this is a multi-angled, and this does your brow line really well, the way it's done. And it, this is a good brush. I use it all the time. And I think, actually, I'm going to go in, because I did such a dark look, I'm going to go in with a bronze color. This one right here, it's called Afterlife, right there. And you see, it's got a lot of fallout, and I don't know why, because his other palettes hasn't done that. I have no idea. So I'm just going to go right up on the brow bone with a little of this. You know, it's going to give it a little sheen. This is a shiny one. Here. Okay. And then we're going to go back to our blending brush. We're going to blend that out. Because what we want is for it to blend in. Be some shiny on the brow bone, but not be crazy looking. That looks pretty good, I think. It's a weird point. Into a camera, but it's the only way you're going to see. But it does have fallout, and I'm just not used to the fallout in his products. That just sort of blows my mind. You got to look over my crazy hair, it's growing back out, and uh, <laughs> I'm like not wanting to cut it, but I can't. Really do anything with it right now. So we're gonna go in with our eyeliner. I see you, Salem. Got a cat behind my lap. Don't touch the laptop, boy. Let 
We're just gonna put this like on the waterline. And sort of put it on a little dark, but just on the waterline. Make him get down. He's playing with too much stuff that he shouldn't be playing with. Yes. And uh, this eyeliner is from Unique. Actually, I really like this eyeliner. It's one of my favorite products from them. Um, it's Mood Struck Precision Pencil. And I uh, actually like this a lot. And it's in jet black. I use it quite often. So, I, oops, dropping crap. Dropping stuff. And I think without a mirror, I should have brought a mirror with me. I didn't. My bad. Um, so. I think that one looks okay. And the mascara is going to be the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've had this for a long time and I still use it all the time. And I like the mascaras with the fat brushes. I'm not in too much into the mascaras with the small ones. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty makeup. It's a very pretty palette. It has a um, very nice texture to it. Buttery, very creamy. Um, the fallout, some people don't like that. I, I don't mind it, but still, it's like you feel like you gave, you know, $58 for this palette. It's not a bad price. But two, you feel like every time you have a lot of fallout, you're wasting product. That's product that could have went on my eyes. That's another time I could have used this palette. So that's why some people don't like it. So there is a look with the Jeffree Star cremated palette. This palette is $58. You can now get it on Beautylish. Or you can get it on his um, jeffreestarcosmetics.com and I it's not a deal breaker for me to fall out. I prefer not to have so much fallout but I'm glad to have the palette. I like the colors. It's a gorgeous piece and it's heavy. And all his pieces are, are big. I mean all his you know it's good quality. It really is good quality. You know, and there's 24 shades in here. 24. So you can do a numerous amount of looks with this. And it doesn't take that long. So, this is my look today. So, that's the end of that. And let me... Um, today, uh, I guess I could try on all three. Let's go from lightest to dark on the glosses. This is Coroner's Kiss. Put my phone up for you. It's busted. This is the lightest one. Like I said, it's got a lot of shine. So, that's the lightest one. Take this off. And this actually has almost a copper, I want to say a copper undertone to it. So, I got that off. And the next one we'll go in with is 
funeral parlor. That's this one, funeral parlor. And I'll try this one on. And it is hard for me to do it in a computer screen. So this is the funeral parlor. They're very shiny. They got a lot of payoff to them. So, and then I'm going to be wearing the coroner's kiss because I went in with it black day and that one definitely has just a dark gray I want to make sure I get it all off because the next one you won't be able to really see the full effect of it if I have another one still on. Okay, there's no shininess on there. And this is six feet under. And you know, you can make them darker. This is just application. So that's that's for normal application, but you can make it darker if you want to go in again. You can make it darker. And of course it's gonna have more shine because this stuff is like blinding shiny, which is good. That's two coats. My overall, overall wearing it for two weeks. I've worked for two weeks. And other than the fallout, which is got on my laptop, other than the fallout, um, it's a very nice palette. I'm very happy with the palette. Um, the looks that you can get from it, um, with my hair color and the dark um, is endless of looks. It's a goth palette. It's the first goth palette he's ever put out. Um, I really like it and it's worth the $58. Absolutely it's worth the $58. Um, so go to Beautylish, go to JeffreeStarCosmetics.com and get this palette. It is back in stock right now, but it probably will not last long. Um, the glosses that I have, that I purchased. My favorite one, I think, is the one I have on. This is six feet under. Um, Coroner's Kiss is good for almost everyday wear because it's very light, even though it is gray. It is really if your lips have any kind of pink or red hue to it, um, it's just going to make them look really nice. And um, this one has more of a metallic brown undertone, and it looks really nice too, but it's more old, I want to say. <laughs> and these are the other two to me. Even the darker one isn't as bold as this one because of the metallic look. Uh, $18, by the way, JeffreeStarCosmetics.com or Beautylish. I think Beautylish, I'm not sure if they have these yet or not. No, they have the palette. But very much worth it because these 
it's a huge thing of lip gloss. It's going to last you a lifetime. I mean, a lifetime. And the products are good. That lip gloss stays on for a long time. I have never been disappointed in anything that Jeffree Star has made that I've purchased. Um, and being someone that's my age, um, I'm 50, that says a lot because you can enjoy the same makeup that 20, 19, 18, 20 year old girls are wearing. And he makes it a formula to where anyone can wear his makeup at any age. So that's my review. I am, I am not disappointed. It's all day wearing. I put it on and I will have to take this off before I go to sleep because it won't, it's not going to wear off. This eyeshadow is not going to go anywhere. Now you'll have to re dip into your lip gloss if you eat a lot or drink. It's going to come off. It's not stay put. But other than that, awesome products. Hit the like button. Comment below and tell me what you think about the makeup, if you like the look, if you like the way the makeup, his makeup is, if you have any of his. If you've not tried it, let me know what you'd like to try. And maybe I have it and can do a review of that too. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoy the video.